Okay, so today a quick little video on the difference between six bolt rotors and hubs for disc brakes and center lock rotors and hubs for disc bolt brake disc brakes. I can't walk and chew gum at the same time either. So as you can see, the rotors go onto the hubs in different ways. The center lock using this splined interface and the six bolt using, wait for it, six bolts that just fit onto the hub. As for reasons why you might want to use one or the other, the center lock interface is generally more convenient. Uh, it's a Shimano design, so anybody who makes one of these has to license the interface from uh, Shimano. I generally have experienced that the rotors stay true and arrive true um, a little bit more. Perhaps that's because of the more heavyweight carrier, which I don't know. Um, it's sort of more of an anecdotal thing than anything we've ever really gotten any deep data on. The six bolt rotors are less expensive, more available. Uh, that's basically their chief advantage right there, is that they're cheap and readily available. Um, they, they both come in any common size that you might want to use, 140, 160, 180. Uh, probably center locks don't come in the 203 mega downhill size, and that's for a good reason, but that's outside the scope of this thing. Anyhow, so as we just saw, to use a center lock, you just line up the splines, and there you go. There are two different kinds of lock rings. The internal one, which is splined on the inside. And this looks like a cassette lock ring, but it's not the same as a cassette lock ring. So don't use a cassette lock ring, because if you do, it'll bind and not work. You'll be unhappy. Similar, but not the same. But you do use a cassette lock ring tool to put these on and take them off. If you have most 12 meter through axle or 9 millimeter quick release uh, or a quick release rear, this lock ring is going to work fine. Otherwise, if you use a bigger through axle, like 15 or 20, this externally splined one is what you need. And this then gets tightened on with a bottom bracket tool. The advantage to this externally splined one is that it works with both. The internally splined one will only work with the narrower ones. So that's center lock. Six bolt, super straightforward. Line up the bolts. As with any multiple bolt tightening interface, you want to go in a pattern, uh, tightening opposite, a little bit opposite, move around, uh, never tightening one too much. That way you get nice even pressure on all the bolts and things will stay snugged up better and longer. Okay, so the six bolt hub is specific to a six bolt rotor and can only be used with a six bolt rotor. There's no adapting it. The center lock on the other hand can very easily be adapted to work with a six bolt rotor. And how we do that is with this three part adapter kit here. 
which has a base splined for mounting onto the hub, pins that made into the base, and then a lock ring with a washer that comes off. <laughs> so what you want to do first is mount the base, and again these aren't keyed in any way. There's no you know, one specific place. It just fits on. Then you take your rotor, making sure that the outside is facing out. Put that on the base, and then you trap it in with the pins. Making sure that's pressed down firmly. And then you take your lock ring. And you tighten that down to the specified torque measurement. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.